Hey guys, it's me Rebecca Silver here today and I haven't been here for an awful long time. But today I am uploading a video. Hopefully I do today. And um, I just wanted to say um, it's been pre-recorded so I'm actually filming the intro natural today, Thursday, November 19th. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, before we go into the video I just wanted to say thank you for the 90 subscribers, 96, 96, 95 subscribers, it's really cool. Now I'm almost close to 100. Like, what? Today's video is going to be my skincare routine. I show you. I don't know if it's like a real, like, um, not a real. I like put this. I don't know if it's like a real, like, like a usual morning routine. But for me, I did my what I do in the morning and then what I do in the night. And I filmed this on two different days. So, um, that's why I changed my clothes. So, hopefully, you enjoyed the video. So, keep watching. So hey guys, now we're in my bathroom, and I just first off start first off start off by washing my hands to wash off all the bacteria that's on my hands. Then I take off my bracelets. The face mask you're about to see is a fresh face mask from Lush called Love Lettuce, and I use that a lot as well. And it gives off a smooth texture, and it keeps the oils you do need, and takes out the ones you don't need, leaving you with a bright glow at the end. So that's what it looks like. It's a little bit more runny than the Mask Magnanimity. So I apply it like equally all over my face, but like I try to apply a lot on my nose because my nose is very oily. So yeah. So there you see me doing it and I get it in my eye. So try not to get it in your eye. If you do, just quickly wash it out. Don't like wait and like make your mask. Like don't wait to finish your mask. Just do that right away and then continue what you're doing. Then I will wash the residue off my hands of the mask and um, dry my hands. I don't know why I dried them, but I dried them. Then I will take water again and clean out my eyebrows because I don't want the mask to dry on my eyebrows because it's like weird and it's like a little bit harder to wash off for me in my opinion. So I set a timer for 5 minutes instead of 10 because um, I was like as you can tell I was filming like I was moving the camera by myself so I had to keep like switching the camera angles therefore it was like already drying and it took a longer time than intended. It's already drying so I just said why do it for 10? So I just did it for five, but on a regular day, I'd probably set it for ten minutes. So there it is. And the timer is done. <laughs> like that done so much. Then I just wash my um, face with some warm water or sometimes cold, but today I decided to do warm water. And I usually wash all, all of it off. Um, I don't leave anything on my face after that and I used the towel because my um, eye was like getting irritated so and the feeling of after using it like after washing it off is really smooth your face will be very smooth so now I'm going to use the detoxifying facial cleanser morning burst from clean and clear and it is oil free and contains sea minerals as you can see I've used a lot and because it works really good for me at least so it wakes me up in the morning as well and it's like a little tingling feeling when I use this in the shower or whatnot it's a little tingly feeling, but it's, um, yeah, I, I can deal with it. And it's detoxifying, so that's why I bought it. So there you see me um, washing my face, and I'm mostly massaging to my nose, like I said before. My nose is very oily, so that's why I do that. Then I just wash it off. Then I will take a towel, or you can take any towel, but I just take a towel and pat dry my face because I heard that rubbing your face like makes your skin damage or damages your skin in some type of way I don't know I just like heard that somewhere like from other people's skincare routines so I just like you know tap dry then I will take a vino daily moisturizing lotion and apply it on my face and so my face doesn't become dry during the day and I just use the extra or whatever is left on my hand and rub that on my hands so my hands don't get clammy or dry as well or ashy so I just distribute it all over my face and massage it in as well. And sorry if you can hear my computer fan in the background of this thing, so. So there you see me doing that. Now I'm moving into the night part of this routine. So first I also start by washing my hands and taking off my bracelets and I dry my hands. The face mask you're about to see is not a fresh face mask, it's just a regular mask called Massive Magnanimity, which contains mint, 
in it and it's very strong you can you will smell it when you open it it smells really good actually and um, it's a body mask as well but I use this for my face and it helps with oily skin as well and it's a little bit more thicker feeling than the love lettuce and I also keep this in the refrigerator so you can see it's really thick looking and it's a little lighter than the love lettuce so that's what it looks like in my hand and I just apply it. I like this one a little bit more better than the other one. I tend to use this one more than the Love Lettuce. And this is like the first face mask I've ever gotten. So I got that for like $20 since I got the big one instead of the small one. So now I'll just wash whatever is left on my hands. I wash that off. And I didn't get this in but I clean out my eyebrows as well. Then I will set a timer for 10 minutes. And then after I set it for 10 minutes, I'd probably just go and watch like Netflix or something, Grey's Anatomy, Breaking Bad, um, whatever I'm watching, or go on Instagram or Snapchat. You should follow me on Instagram, by the way. Post really good pictures. Just saying. So yeah, it'll be in the end of this video. So there, I set it for 10 minutes. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. So the timer is done. Then I will start out by moving my headband back. I don't want my headband to get wet, or I would just take it off, but I didn't feel like taking it off, so I just moved it back. Then I will wash my hand, my hand, my face. And there you see me doing that. Then I get all of it off. That's what you're supposed to do anyway. You shouldn't be leaving the mask on for like longer than attendant, or that could also damage your skin. And the feeling of after washing your face is not like the feeling of the love lettuce. It's like a little bit, um, it's not that smooth is all I can say. So then I will take my morning, not my morning, my night relaxing um, deep cleaning cleanser, which is also oil free and it doesn't have any sea minerals like the other one, but it's good for night and it washes my face. I use this at the end of the day, every day, you know, all day, every day. And it, that's what it looks like in my hand. It's clear. It's not tinted or anything. I mean, I don't know. It could look like hand wash though, but it's a moisturizer. Or not a moisturizer. <laughs> a cleanser. Then I will use um, a Vino Daily Moisturizing Lotion again. And I lost the clip of me washing my face, so excuse that. So that's what it looks like. And I do the same thing like I do in the morning. And sometimes if I do have time or if, like not lazy, I will use Zit Cream. Yes, I use Zit Cream. But I didn't use it in this video today. So that's what it looks like. Then the last thing of this video is me applying baby lips. Because I want my lips to be moisturized in the morning and not dry. And I do apply it in the morning too. I'd either use like an EOS or baby lips. Baby lips is what I recently just got. So I just used it in the video. So that is it for my morning routine. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And um, like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and if you didn't, give it a thumbs up. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't know if you liked it or not, give it a thumbs up. More thumbs down, I could really care less, but you know, feedback is what matters, so comment down below what you thought of this video or not. You don't have to comment at all. Just watch the video and enjoy it. Um, also, I just wanted to say again, thank you for the 96 subscribers. Subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, subscribe. Ugh. Subscribe for great videos, not average videos, and see you next Thursday. Video goes along with your video. So if you're talking about dead cats, you don't want some rock and roll music playing in the background. You might want some sad piano music or something like that. Pretty much.